I was doing some Christmas shopping for my family when I come across this article. Men are sharing things they actually want for Christmas and I'm taking notes. This is infuriating for many reasons. First, the author readily admits that they have not used any of these items. I kind of want recommendations to come from somebody who has touched something. Second, it's needlessly gendered. Why is this men? The first item here is a jigsaw puzzle. Sorry, you gotta have a Y chromosome if you're gonna do this jigsaw puzzle. Or what about this? A weighted blanket. Sorry ladies, you're gonna have to man up a little bit if you're gonna use a blanket. So I decided I would make my own shopping list from stuff that I use every day because, well, I'm a nerd, I love gadgets and I buy all that stuff and a lot of it sucks. And you cannot trust Amazon reviews anymore, they're mostly fake. So I'm gonna tell you the things I use and love. Let's get started. You should know I'm a nerd, so I like nerdy things, but I'm also a suburban dad, so I like practical things. And a Nest doorbell fits all of these categories. It tells me when somebody comes to the door. It can recognize faces. It explains why Pixel is barking. <laughs> and when someone rings the doorbell, I get a notification on my phone and even a picture on my watch, and I can talk directly to them to tell them to leave the package or to come in through the side door or because I have a smart garage, I could even open the garage and let them in. If you think that's nerdy and overcomplicated, watch this. The light comes on automatically when I open the door and turns off when I close the door. It's our pantry, so we often go in or out with an armful of groceries and it's nice, but let me show you how it works. It's cool. I upgraded the light switch inside the pantry with a smart switch from YoLink. So you can see by pressing it, it operates as a normal switch, but it can also be remotely turned on or off or it can trigger other devices. I programmed it to be triggered by this wireless system that turns the light on and off when it opens or closes. Programming is super simple in the YoLink app, and I've had different YoLink accessories for a few years now. And I should mention, not sponsored. Again, I bought this stuff and I just like it. The system has enough flexibility to do a lot of things. Like I have it set up as a security system. So if somebody opens up my back door when I'm not home, or if it's after hours and alarm goes off and I get a notification on my phone. So I know something is up even when I'm not home. I also have YoLink temperature sensors in the pool to know if it's warm enough to swim. It's not. And in my refrigerator to know if something happens to the refrigerator so my food doesn't spoil. I can get there and put it into a freezer before it all goes bad. I also have Yolink water sensors beneath every freezer and refrigerator below my hot water heater in case something bursts and starts to flood. I learned the importance of this the hard way when my entire basement flooded and cost us thousands and thousands of dollars. Now at least I'll know right away as soon as it happens. Here's a quick gift idea from my favorite YouTube and tech channel, Dave Tries This. It's the Fuji Instax Mini Evo. Let's give it a try. You can think of the Mini Evo as a digital camera that happens to have the ability to create instant prints from it, but you could also, with a little bit of workaround, print any photos that you take on any camera with the Evo. The images are not high resolution, the autofocus runs from mediocre to very good, and the results are unpredictable, and that's what makes this a perfect creative camera. Images are printed out on the credit card size Instax Minifilm, which is about 2 by 3 inches. There are 10 lenses, which are really software effects, and they're controlled by rotating this fake aperture ring on the front. There's also 10 looks on the camera, ranging from normal to vivid to sepia, and those are controlled by turning the top left dial. There's a built-in strobe in the camera, which is harsh but powerful, there's a self-timer, and there's a small mirror on the front of it so that you can frame your selfies. With the built-in Bluetooth, you can send your images from your phone to the camera, and then you can print them out using Fujifilm's app. At $200, the Instax Mini Evo isn't exactly cheap, but the camera features are good enough to make it a competent, creative device, and the ability to print from your phone makes it all the more useful. Because this looks so much like a camera, which it is, and much less like an Instax camera, people are really surprised when prints come out of the camera, and they're much more surprised when you hand them one. It's also cool that if you hand them a photo, you can still send it to them later over email. I think it is a great, fun little camera. It's not too expensive, and it's the perfect holiday gift for somebody. For Dave Tries This, I'm David Schloss. Thanks so much for giving this a try. Here's something I use every single day, an ember mug. It keeps my coffee and tea the exact right temperature. 
The downside of these is this is the third one I've owned because they have fixed batteries that you cannot remove and the batteries wear out after a couple of years. And I'm noticing that this one is already getting cold a little too soon. But for the first couple of years, they're absolutely fantastic and I can't live without them. It's probably hyperbolic. I could probably survive. Now we're in the garage so I can show you a few car related things. These are actually good for the environment because the best thing you can do for the environment is to keep an old car on the road. And I've known so many people who traded in an old car just to get some of these things that I put into my 2008 Toyota. First, get a MagSafe wireless charger or whatever wireless chargers compatible with your smartphone. I find that so useful to just be able to put it there and have a charge going. Next, get a head unit that supports CarPlay or Android Auto, depending on what phone you're on. Now, I could have gotten that result by spending 80K on a 2023 Tundra, but instead I spent a couple of hundred bucks on a new head unit, and I installed it myself in about an hour. You could also take it to a professional installer. Places like Best Buy will do that, but it makes a huge difference and adds so much life to your car. This particular unit also allows me to put in backup cameras and a front camera, which I wired in myself. Again, that was really quick features that you really need on a vehicle. Another cool feature I added is remote start via an app. It's connected to the cellular network so I can start it from my watch or my smartphone. This makes such a difference in the winter and also if I lose my vehicle or it gets stolen, this has GPS location so I can always find it. Another gadget here is the rearview mirror. Check this out. It's a digital rearview mirror, which is usually only a feature on new high-end vehicles, but it gives me a perfect view out the back and makes me feel much safer when I'm backing up. If the bed is full of cargo and the back seat is filled with passengers, I can still see clearly out the back. It also gives me a better view at night and it has front and rear dash cams that record my location. So if I'm ever in an accident, I could, for example, show that I didn't have any liability. One last suggestion is some nice flooring for the garage. There's lots of options, but I use race deck flooring. This is their free flow XL floor. This allows water to flow through it. And I have this in the bay with the truck because we use this in the snow and snow gathers up on the tires and the fenders and then melts and normally would make a mess. The water flows through here, so this is always dry and I'll never slip on it. But check out the main garage. And in the other half of the garage, I use the Race Deck charred oak flooring for more of a showroom look. It looks like wood, but holds up amazingly well. And uh, I have a Roomba in here that actually keeps the leaves and dirt out, so it's nice and clean. Subscribe for photography stuff. This is a rare exception. And uh, if you have any other suggestions, write a comment down below because I'm always looking for some gift ideas. Uh, all the links for this stuff is in the description. Bye. I know you heard the truck and you think we're going to go do something fun, but we're not because that's just working. Okay, that's just working.